the Magic Finger, pages 34 to 47. It must have been at about this time that I, back in my own house, picked up the telephone and tried to call Philip. I wanted to see if the family was all right. Hello, I said. Quack, said a voice at the other end. Who is it, I asked. Quack, quack. Philip, I said, is that you? Quack, 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 quack. Oh, stop it, I said. Then there came a very funny noise. It was like a bird laughing. I put down the telephone quickly. Oh, that magic finger, I cried. What has it done to my friends? That night, while Mr. and Mrs. Greg and Philip and William were trying to get some sleep up in the high nest, a great wind began to blow. The tree rocked from side to side, and everyone, even Mr. Greg, was afraid that the nest would fall down. Then came the rain. It rained and rained, and the water ran into the nest, and they all got as wet as could be. And, oh, it was a bad, bad night. At last morning came, and with it the warm sun. Well, said Mr. Gregg, thank goodness that's over. I never want to sleep in a nest again. She got up and looked over the side. Help, she cried. Look, look down there. What is it, my love, said Mr. Gregg. He stood up and peeped over the side. He got the surprise of his life. On the ground below them stood the four enormous ducks as tall as men, and three of them were holding guns in their hands. One had Mr. Gregg's gun, one had Philip's gun, and one had William's gun. The guns were pointed right up at the nest. No, 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 called out Mr. and Mrs. Gregg, both together. Don't shoot, please don't shoot. Why not, said one of the ducks. It was the one who, was holding, who wasn't holding a gun. You are always shooting at us. Oh, but that's not the same, said Mr. Gregg. We are allowed to shoot ducks. Who allows you, asked the duck. We allow each other, said Mr. Gregg. Very nice, said the duck. And now we are going to allow each other to shoot you. I would have loved to see the look on Mr. Gregg's face just then. Oh, please, cried Mrs. Gregg. My two little children are up here with us. You wouldn't shoot my children. Yesterday you shot my children, said the duck. You shot all six of my children. I'll never do it again, cried Mr. Gregg. Never, never, never. Do you really mean that, asked the duck. I do mean it, said Mr. Gregg. I'll never shoot another duck as long as I live. That is not good enough, said the duck. What about deer? I'll do anything you say if you will only put down those guns, cried Mr. Gregg. I'll never shoot another duck or another deer or anything else again. Will you give me your word on that, said the duck. I will, I will, said Mr. Gregg. Will you throw away your guns, asked the duck. I will break them into tiny bits, said Mr. Gregg and never again need you be afraid of me or my family. Very well, said the duck. You may now come down, and by the way, may I congratulate you on the nest. For a first effort, it's pretty good. Mr. and Mrs. Gregg and Philip and William hopped out of the nest and flew down. Then, all at once, everything went black before their eyes, and they couldn't see. At the same time, a funny feeling came over them all, and they heard a great wind blowing in their ears. Then the black that was before their eyes turned to blue, to green, to red, and then to gold. And suddenly, there they were, standing in lovely bright sunshine in their own garden, near their own house, and everything was back to normal once again. Okay, we are going to look at the comprehension questions for pages 34 through 47. Number one says, who answers the phone when the little girl calls the Greggs? Philip, William, a duck. 
And we know that that should be C, a duck. Number two, how does the girl feel after she gets off the phone? A, frustrated, B, silly, or C, glad? And the answer to number two is A, she feels frustrated. She's upset and doesn't know what's going on. Number three, what makes the night so bad in the nest? A, it was too hot. B, it was rainy and windy. C, it was snowy and windy. And the answer to that is B, it was rainy and windy. Number five. Oh, I'm sorry, number four. What do the Greggs see below their nest in the morning? A car full of ducks, four ducks gardening, or four ducks aiming guns at the Greggs. And that is C, four ducks with their guns pointed at the Greggs. Up at the top, number five, why do the ducks want to shoot the Greggs? A, they want to live in the house. B, the Greggs shot six of the ducks' children. C, they want to have fun. And the answer to number five is B. The Greg shot six of the ducks' children. Number six. What promise does Mr. Greg make to the ducks? A. He'll never hunt animals again. B. He will be the ducks' best friend. C. The ducks can move in with Mr. Greg and his family. And the answer to six is A. He will never hunt again. Seven, if Mr. Greg keeps his promise, what will the ducks do in return? A, they will be their friends. B, they will teach them to fly. C, they will not shoot them. And the answer to that is C, they will not shoot them. Eight, what happens after the Greggs and the ducks make an arrangement? Remember, the sky turned black and the colors came out in a flash of gold and everything was back to normal. So everything was back to normal. And those are the answers for the comprehension questions, pages 34 through 47. And I hope you make it a fantastic day.